North Yungas Road, better known as the Death Road. Today, we will visit Bolivia and learn more about one of the most dangerous tourist attractions in the world. If you like this video and our channel, make sure to subscribe for more. The North Yungas Road, also known as the Death Road, is a 69 kilometers long stretch of winding road through the Cordillera Oriental mountain chain in Bolivia. The road was constructed in the 1930s by Paraguayan prisoners during the Chaco War. The road climbs to 4,650 meters above sea level at La Cumber Pass. Then, it's a continuous downward stretch toward the Amazon rainforest. If you look off the side of the road, you're looking down at a 600-meter drop into the surrounding forest. The road links La Paz with Caroico, a small town at the entrance of the Amazon rainforest. The road seldom gets any wider than 3 meters, and many crosses stand as memorials to those who have perished there. Nearly 300 drivers were killed here every year until 1994. It was not uncommon for merchants to squeeze into trucks and buses to try to sell their wood and crops in town. However, the hairpin turns weren't big enough for every vehicle, and many trucks went down with people. Until 2006, the North Yungas Road was the only option for traveling from Caroico to La Paz. The road was no wider than one lane, and was used by any vehicles willing to make the trip. Finally, in 2009, the government constructed a new road by a mountain range close by. The new highway has two lanes, and has been well maintained. North Yungas itself now has two driving lanes, new pavement, drainage systems and guardrails. Yet, people continue to die here. Thrill-seekers from all over the world are warned about this treacherous path, known as one of the most adventurous and exhilarating activities in Bolivia. Biking down the historically dangerous death road is the ultimate extreme sport. After 20 years of modernization, it's claimed to be safer these days. But how safe is it really? Today, most of the deaths are from local workers and backpackers still using the infamous road. Tour operators also lead bike rides along the road, and it is believed that it more than a dozen cyclists have lost their lives here in the last decade. Contrary to every other road in the country, vehicles must use the left-hand side as this makes passing considerably safer. For downhill riders, this means sticking to the precarious cliff side. Drop-offs can be as high as 600 meters so try not to lose control. Big rocks jut out of the road at seemingly every turn potentially throwing unsuspecting riders over the handlebars or over the edge. You should always ride within your limits to ensure you can react to these hazards in time. So is it the world's most dangerous road? It certainly used to be, but it may have thankfully lost that title. It's a scenic drive, as long as you stay on the left side of the road and proceed with caution. If you're a thrill-seeking cyclist that wants to try this extreme sport, the Yungas Road is perfect for you, but you should be very cautious so you can come back home alive.